Hi everyone, Field Goldface, and I would like to welcome you guys to Fossil of the Week. Now this week we have a Titanotheer. They're kind of like horses and rhinos, they're related to both of them actually, and they're really distinct for this very well Y-shaped horn that they've got here. Now these guys live during the late Eocene and they're pretty common out here in South Dakota and also in Nebraska. This one specifically is Megaceraops platycerus, and he's from the Shadron Formation here in South Dakota. Actually, he's actually in the county that we're in, Pennington County. If you guys do want to see him up close, he is in our museum in Hill City, South Dakota. Shameless plug of our museum. But there's one cool fact I'd like to point out about him. We're going to get a little heavy on the jargon here, but it's, it's going to be worth it, trust me. What we've got right here is his family is Brontotheridae. Well, that makes sense. His subfamily is Brontotheranae. The tribe is Brontotheranae. The infratribe is Brontotherida. And can you guess the genus? Megaceraops. We already talked about this. Just kidding. This piece of paper doesn't have anything on it. I memorized that. Megaceraops means large horned face, and you can see it right there. These horns are pretty distinct, too. And the males generally had larger ones than the females, so you can actually tell the sex of the animal based on that sometimes. Titanotheres were some of the largest animals that lived during their time. They're actually bigger than modern rhinos. And just imagine seeing this guy walking down the street. Scare you quite a bit, especially with these teeth. But that's all the time we have, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.